position there on the I cubby on long, so this could be a huge moment. He's trying to make the way through, actually beats the timing around the corner, using the dismiss to reset the situation. So much damage, so much distraction. It's actually given a huge advantage to Pioneers in the series of engagements around long. And with that said, it's going to be an easy shutdown. He did his place. If those are broken, he gets such an early rookie. But this early frag from Thief as well. And it would be a disaster if Pioneer were not able the Pioneers were not able to hold this site here, knowing everything that's coming already able to capitalize against a very desperate Knights trying to force the issue into the site, but again, to defend this one. Knights don't have any players on the rest of the map. They might be finding themselves fairly committed here, but there's a nice opening frag coming in from Sif and with that frag. That's going to be, and, well, and the lockdown too, that's going to be a totally abandoned site. Planted. Yeah, you could you could see the confusion right there between Chamo and Critical. Wasn't really sure what they were going to do right there. But the retake comes in with the Hunter's Fury down. These two health players are going to have to come up big. And they get both yeah, taken so out. Yeah, and the, the Cosmic Divide comes in as well for that retake. That's going to shut down these positions on the defense enormously for Knights. They're going to have to push beyond these walls and to find the top for the right timing for this one. It's going to be very difficult, but starting to play some of the gambles here. You see that both teams not really 100% sure who's going to make the first move, and it's going to have to be Governor now making the way in. There's the recall, and that's beautiful, but JC Stanley with the trade. All Back to the usual tricks, JC Stanley that does actually get caught out this time. Sif with the blade storm making good of that, and they will keep the pace up high, trying to put the pressure on that C site, pushing in through garage. We did guess behind them, but that's unfortunate for we did. Not able to find enough damage with that one. Five versus two, with that's high planted here for nice. It's not really all that much that can be done. I think he's just going to try to get an exit or two here. Maybe no try more. to catch Ziff. And that's actually a very good find. Given the fact they're up 5-0. They have a massive lead in the economy. That's for able to evade going down to that Hunter's Fury. They're going to try to force the issue on this Seaside. They're really liking this Seaside at the moment. But the defense is going much better this time. Can they hold on to back sight here, Pioneers? Looks like the answer is a firm no. Knights, they've got that back sight control. The Cosmic Divide there as well to really make things very difficult on the retake but the drone Dan. goes through from critical the drone is going to make them so unaware of this flank oh my god there's no shot they're aware of this with the drone oh it makes it a step but it doesn't matter at least gets the first kill but with that it hasn't finished the job off deep it's well it's going to be critical who gonna get a fast moving through a Dan, it's working two people left the a site Oh wow, this is an opening, a big opportunity, but it's been spotted, JMO! Oh, oh, down straight away, great headshot from Frosty, JMO tried desperately, there's a Hunter's Fury, the Empress popped by Thief as well, looking for the moment to go in, gonna have to get these opening kills, that's a great opener from Banda, trade through from JC Stanny, and there's Hunter's Fury, that's looking to good to take down one more, Scubs out of the picture, up to the two remaining players, now just Frosty, and one versus two time is of the essence here. They must find Frosty as quickly as possible. Frosty's been found. There goes the Cosmic Divide. Does it actually help Frosty? It might actually help Frosty. As now again forces JC Stanley off the defuse. But there's just enough time. Got it. There's a Vox down as well coming through towards that C site. And they're starting to lurk up the short A position at the same time. They've got that plan B in store. They might rotate the spike back at this point. We'll have to see if the C site now with those kills is going to be looking tempting enough to go for the commit. No, in fact, indeed, it will be the rotation back to the A site because in, after all of that, oh no, critical catches the spike in mid. It will be collected once again. And it's going to try to make his way to B now. And it's banned all along on that big lurk. Trying to save the day here. Governor makes his way into the site. And that will just enough give enough, or just about give enough time here for the spike to go down. And JMO needs the clutch. The one versus three to really add insult to injury. That's number one on the board. Two more players to go. Can you find them though? No idea. There's the updraft upside down right now. And Ziff looking to find it with the daggers over the. JT Sunny is re-aggressing out garage. He might catch this guy. And he does. Oh, brutal for Knights. That's such a great pick. A lot of timing to find. This guy's going to go down. JMO is not. Okay, they're all just going to charge down JMO. But this deep back in, back in, and the distraction is going to open up JC Stanley as well. Difficult 1v2 here, but definitely doable for Governor. 
Don't know where he is. A freebie for Governor, but the next one isn't so free. Thief is going to lock that one down. And that'll be the the definitely cage looking good for a spike plant right now. We've got three players Whoa. here towards the aggression on that. Oh, Frosty five actually gets in feet. there before the spike gets planted, and that's going to cause some problems. There's not enough players to recover the spike. They have to deal with this push from a lobby at the same time. They're getting pinched now on the B side of the thing of the map as well. And JC Stani is alone. This is not. This is just falling into chaos here for Pioneers as they look to recover the spike. Still a three on three though, Dan. It feels like knights have won the early battle, but we're still even. Ooh. And they're buying time as well for the. That's how. That's oh. how. It's shot. It was the first couple remaining. of shots, but it doesn't matter because we did ready. So hard to find these players. Just running for. I respect it. Rossi almost just stole that right away. I was. I've been very impressed by the way. I know they're down 12 to right now, but Frosty on the pit. Held the B site all by himself to stop this white plant. Got two frags. And now on this round, the way, the way he got a timing, and there's a big push on a lobby because the gamble for Knights was towards a lobby. So nothing really going right for Knights, unfortunately, for them. As we get a free C site. There's a new effect coming through as well. Great shot out of the Guardian of Governor. And it's going to be aggression for spawn here. They want to take the fight straight to Knights. And they are going to do just that. They're going to eliminate all of them towards spawn. And there's Van. With that, Sheriff has to hit the headshots. Can't land a shot. And the rotations come through. There's two players on the flank. Pioneers have a lot to work against, but they just need to hit the shots and they should be fine. Governor will try to just push the smoke prematurely and will be met with a huge resistance from Pioneers. They're going to get the spike down as well, leaving just two players to make this easy. Looking for the double peak here on the long position, if necessary. One and enemy remaining. There it is. Just one left now to go. Zip's been dealt with and... Oh, are they going to run past it? Oh, I think they're all running past. And, whoop. Oh, he's going to go down. So, looking to defend you hold. So far, so good, though, ultimately for Pioneers. But with that said, Governor getting so much value. Uh, just a bad thing. Yeah, this is, this is a winnable two-on-two -two now for Knights. Governor, massive frags. Go for the TP. Both. And he has. They've nailed it. Surely, Critical will be moving for the spy plot. And it's a quick hedge. They're going to take the fight after taking control of the orb. Drone was trying to come through there, does get destroyed. And there's that peak. The bait towards Garden is such a great setup. It's super simple, but sometimes the simple stuff is the best. Now, the adjustment from Knights just shut down Shower's control. They don't want to give it up. They, just, they actually are trying to shut it down. We get to play through the TP from Long as well. Trying to just sandwich to pinch these players. They're trying to get ahead of this default from Pioneers. And they've done a good job, but it's a 3v3. So the reaction here in the mid round is going to be huge. And there comes the showstopper as well. Can it, it land? It will. Thief takes down Frosty. Another one for one. And they've walked away one. Oh, but the Hunter's Fury comes in just in the nick of time. Onto Thief. And it equalizes. Well, it doesn't equalize. In fact, it makes nice one to the good. And they've spotted Weeded as well. Oh, wow. This is going to be tough. Has to win this 1v1. He wants to have any hope in hell in making this one work. And he does. And we're going to get a 1v1 off the plant. Awareness to move immediately to mid site. He's aware that the flank could be in play. But is he going to be aware that he's already out of hookah? Oh, Weeded with the clutch. He is so aware. Did he expect the double setup? Snakebite does go in, but Bans in such a strong position. And that's a spike at his feet. What the hell do they do from this position? JMO is able to take one kill out onto the A side, but again, so far away from the spike. Quick flash comes through. JC Stanny is ready for this one. Looks for the trade, gets it as well. That's the spike under control again. Scuba, unless this two has a good timing, is going to spot them. Oh. JC Stanny, what a round! That is nice on that ultimate economy. The five skip goes down towards the B side. Oh my god, Jamo just clotheslines through the showers position. Frosty continuing to do a good job holding onto the U Haul position. Oh. Another key 1v1. However, his time was limited in this round. One enemy oh, oh, nice pop from we did. Turning up here for 
the scenarios in Valorant where he kind of progresses towards the site. Yeah, just going for the double pump there. Just a, a small bit of doubt there for Nice as to what Pioneers are doing. But there comes that showstopper you were talking about. Looking to find Viper, but it's going to find JC Stanley. This is Spike down on the ground temporarily as Steve still tries to look to lock control of this U-Haul out of the opponent's hands and it's going well so far into the Viper's pit. Thief goes prowling around with the judge looking for the next opponent, the next victim. And who's it going to be as that spike finally, finally goes down. It's 2v3 here for Knights looking for this retake still. So little vision to work with but the judge again. The perfect tool for the job. And Governor now in a 1 versus 3 is left with again almost no options to work with that's viper down there falls the viper's pit Ooh. can governor with eight bullets left make this work somehow one enemy oh finds one more three bullets to go reload just in time there is time to tap it force out another peak has to hit this next shot going for the spam getting desperate now and just oh so well played oh. by critical just don't know if you're nice how many players are actually there at this point but there comes the showstopper and thief takes down zip with that one however the counter play is strong here on the defense as well we'll still see the site mostly under control but still bad holding on to u-haul and looking to get some more information the pressure coming through again there's the peace governor making his way out of spawn it's critical alone here in the u-haul position Spotted looking for those 1v1s, finds a key 1v1, and I don't know that critical. I mean, he's very weak, I think his opponent is just as weak, but hits oh. the edge. Forcing out so much utility. Is there a forward play? Yes, there is. Sif goes straight in, the trade's in there as well, just as quickly from critical. But they need to gain position, and there's so much time for the rotations. Defensive, the spike's gone through the TP. It, it Does it go to B at this point? There's time to go back. But it makes those calls, but at the same time, Knights have rotated two players on the A side. Oh, it's a tough spot. Look at the info play coming forward. They just got the double pushing down short as well. A great off angle and retrieve it over the market. It's possible. Ten seconds left. <laughs> just running away. Knows that you know it's just not winnable at this point because of the time issue. Jamo knows it. And the Viper Wall. <laughs> oh, JC Stanley, there's nothing you can do about that. And how do they play off of this? We just actually moved into the position to, as well. Wants to challenge that one, but doesn't want to overstay the welcome. And that's a spike down. So they'll have to. Knights on the retail. Other side of you all. The utility is doing a good job of clearing out some of these spots, but still. Pine is looking to hold on to it as Scuba. Still in position. There comes the tap. The pressure on the spike. He's going to force out some of these players. Great shots. A lot of players investing here towards this shower's position. JC Starney will open things up. The trades, though, with the Spectres are looking quite good. But they didn't expect a second player doubling up in this position. Just like JC Starney apparently did not expect Ban to be there either. So it looks like the worst has come and gone. Here for Knights, they'll get the spike planted, but two versus two. Versus no. two. I didn't think the pain shells would actually finish off Frosty, and now it's a two versus two. So that should is starting to become a reality. Oh, Scuba taking down Critical will make things a bit easier here. Thief though, with a good range for this one. No. My God, Thief! So much damage from the classic. There's Ban on the flank though. Critical slowing things down a little bit with the shock darts. JMO in the meantime finds a pick on short A, which is the, the lurker effectively. So that commits Knights into this play pretty heavily. They don't have anything left on the other side of the map. They're going straight forward. Nice catch from Weeded onto Zip as he's flying across the site. The defense is looking incredible. Probably as well. So much utility coming with this way. Still surviving though, just what? Well, doesn't find any frags. Nice little ping there. Allows Critical to pick up one as well, but Knights. Doing a pretty good job here on the attack and with the Viper's Pit. It's hard to see a way back in here for Pioneers. We'll have to see if they can find a way in though. They've they've got a player in cubby. You can see JC Stanley creeping forward. The scuba so many advantages in this Viper's Pit. Right around it as well. And yeah, it, it's just looking fantastic here for Knights. Great for big movement on showers yet again. We're, we're pretty used to seeing this here. But Knights are just gonna go all the way here with so many players. Oh my god. 
That was the Molly from Viper from Short A, Dan. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's actually pretty sick. Love to see that one with the Viper. Snake bite. And here's a reaction in spawn from Critical with that. Oh, oh my god, we did is picking him out of the sky. J Mo looking to do the same here with that blade storm, but it just shut down. What a fast round. You can't even follow all those frags. Short A threw his poison or threw into Hookah. But they're coming right into him. And indeed the show stoppers will be slowed down a little bit by the gravity. Well, oh no! Oh can't get the rocket down in time. That is devastating. JC Starney, what a huge kill to find. Falling back, they can get they can concede the spike plan. That's totally okay. Critical picks up another one. And the retake is so well set up right now. It is gonna take a miracle for Knights to hold on to this site. Oh my god, it just gets worse. Another ult burned. In fact, multiple ults burned here to just guarantee the round for Pioneers. Governor Ooh. is going to be able to take down one. Oh, it's just... And Critical's looking for that opening frag. Oh, he's been completely called out by Frosty. Great stuff there. Another follow-up on the entry. Jamo's in trouble. Trying to hold on. Great shot from Jamo, but there's nowhere else to go. And that's going to be a four versus two after plant in favor of Knights. Wow. Oh! We did spam spam through the spawn crate side. Th that makes the retake actually possible. But with Stuba in Hookah with snake bites and a Sova along with Hunter's Fury, so they might be baited into even trying. I don't think no they have a chance at winning run. though. Oh, they will force out the Hunter's Fury. I can say though, that's a big win. Honestly, all because of that spam kill from we did. Dunza Fury, Danny though, looking to prevent the spike from going down. There's not too much that they can do to prevent this spam. There comes a shock dart. Do they have anything else though? Once again, the plant comes through and JC oh. Stanny, they're just gambling here. He could just take them down and it's completely random at this point. The variance is real. And again, no. speaking of the variance, another easy frag from Thief gets in the back. There comes the judge though. Scuba has to keep this one alive. There goes the snake bite to slow things down again. Two versus three here. Such an important round here for Knights. They need this map they need this round they lose this round i don't think they have anything left in the tank here there goes the deep use attempt it's all in the judge here can he find it that's two quick ones that's to pull out the pistol falls back out can he reset this one looking for the classic the roll and he's funny this round but being in that pit for that long had him at one hp oh man scuba <laughs> to keep harping on about it because in we go hunters fury gets a tag early frag from critical a oh. second what? That is outrageous! How do they recover? There's no way Scuba could have been... He's there! <laughs> what is gonna... It's almost better to go for the Viper's Pit into... into A at this point. That's just, that just tells you how desperate this is. Straight into Weed, and they just, they just take him down! There's Critical by Triple as well, in the smoke. Waiting for the perfect timing. I just nice making this look doable. They've turned it into a 3 versus 3 got post pump positions they've somehow made this an advantage round okay, so Stani goes down as well they're losing every gun battle it's up to jamo moving forward and that oh my god i can't believe even as reina oh doesn't have that frenzy the double edge shot comes through quick trade Spice here for down. both sides critical keeping the effort alive for as long as possible but we'll have a great Bomb site, classic coming through nicely for Ziff. Oh, and it's an absolute slaughter around the market position of one versus one. Oh, Ooh. the reload pulls out the gun. And actually rotating around towards Catwalk as we oh, get. Oh, they're getting caught, Dan. Yeah, just caught out of position, just like you said. But Beef there is ready to do the damage in the corner. They didn't account for his position. So many players here. Maybe able to hold on, but not for long enough to dismiss. Doing everything that, that it could, but this attack is just too savage here towards the A side. Critical again, just on that very sad, you know, retake position where there's actually just no options at all. And a quick split through market and B main as well. A lot of pressure on the defense. Oh, Critical taking one in the face through the wall there. That's quite annoying. We did holding on to the back of the side for as long as possible. Really good shots come through though for Knights on the attack. And they've got that side under control. Like down in the four versus three advantage. No ults here really for the retake, except the Empress. 
Oh, this is a tough spot for Pioneers. All coming through spawn. The dismiss will get them in. So playing the side alley, they will fall off. And in they go, just charging forward. Knights are going to the edge. Can get two frags, which sounds like a, I'm asking a lot. Beautiful play by Frosty. Well, there's a wall to cover across. That's also beautiful. Frosty getting a double there. And oh my god, the turret too. The damage from the turret. The Utah's never done so much damage before. And it's good timing here. Oh, it this might not sketchy. work out for them because here comes the swing. And they've, they've come back. They at a mean. Oh no, there's no trade, Sean. There's no trade on that one. That said, JC Sonny does find a way to trade it, but it's a little bit late. Gets an extra kill out of that. Remaining. Oh, and just to collapse on This is so winnable. Oh, he's found the timing, but it's, it then became an anti- Nice finish there from Thief. Oh, that is so unfortunate for JC Stani. This does come through, though. Is there a punish here from Sif? Might find a timing. Feels like he might be a little bit too slow for that one. And oh, Thief is really locking off here now for... No one is in all the timing. Oh, Frosty almost finds a way in. One enemy remaining. There is no I'm way in. It's just total disaster for Ban. Nowhere to go. No. They leave JC Sunny on cat. I don't think B site is that solid though. They gotta go fast. They gotta go real fast. 15 seconds for the spike plant. They've gotta rush it in. And there's just so many things to worry about at the moment. Not a single thing can go wrong, but there's lots of problems, lots of obstacles, and they're lining up on the side alley. This is not a good look. Frosty, it's going to be tough to win this. It's not possible. The split can't form. You can hear the all picked up here. So, Pioneers know what's coming at this point. Res comes through and Frosty too. But JC Starney is going to be able to lock things down towards that position. And this, the delay here from the util is great. Thief is waiting Spike on the site. Spike now down in front of the smoke. Scuba. Is there a timing? It's going to have to be insane. Scuba going straight through. Scuba gets a double. It is insane, but he's still on the site, waiting patiently. Dismisses, resets, and 20 seconds are left now to pick up the spike and plant it. It has to go on A. They have to win the gun battles. There's no other solution. Oh, and there it is. Thief gets the one that he needed. Are going to keep going with this? We min Oh, no, we min oh. We did stops right there. Are they trying to bait a rotation too? Because, oh, they're just a push Spike dead. So just call the bluff here for Pioneers. They're looking to go aggressive. And that's completely caught Knights off guard. They had no idea that response was coming. Now they're in so much trouble. Looking to get these. No, this is this is not looking very winnable for Governor. And break down the wall. They force the issue. Down. They're Ooh. just going through. And it's going to be rewarded. The overheal frenzy. And we've got a fast rotation up Catwalk as well. We did could get caught, but there's the... There is a very well placed alarm bot that's going to alert we did to that flank. And he's got, he's got support here as well. There comes the jumping classic. Oh, we did. Oh. Great stuff with the classic. Holding position towards Cowell. And having to jump across the wall. This is just so desperate. It's so desperate. The turret's on the other side just waiting for you. Oof, the sheriff. Oh, they hear so many spectres there as well. That's a very alarming for knights on the defense. You can see Zip paying attention there. Good off angle, but oh no! No! This is out to the spectre. Scuba also not getting the damage, oh. nor ban. And that's that's surely a wrap. A two versus four coming through now for the remainder of knights. Trying to do what they can here. Frosty on the retake. Two versus three, definitely doable. Oh. Oh, that. Oh, he jumped. He jumped in. Oh, no. Frost. This has to be a kill. JC Stani. He's created so much distraction. And indeed, that's going to be the remainder. They're just full sending it towards A, though. It's hard to see. Oh, I love this. It's always so awesome. This is the wall over the smoke. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> it's happening. We have the sheriffs no. landing the headshots. Three no. unanswered kills back to back on the A side. The lockdown comes through to add insult to injury and frosty gets another one they haven't lost a single player there's so many guns on the ground i can't believe it 
love the B main presence. That oh my oh god. my god. Oh, he's nailed it. Oh, there's the dash though, and they're ready Ooh. for him. The dash. That's the worst player that could have been in that position. The jet. One enemy remaining. Oh, and speaking of the jet, Ban finishes off the next two, and they survive. With there's there is four players ready to defend this already. <gasps> oh no! Ooh. He got caught. Let's make that's huge, but still, teammates no. defending regardless. The damage is being done. KCP was slowed down, and it's a 4 versus 3 still on the retake because res is available. There it comes. And that cosmic divide is just really is everything. Honestly, it feels like the, it feels like the lockdown catching. Yeah, that was, was so important. Oh, some tags coming through. Versus four. Side position. Don't want to get stuck behind a smoke. Raider on the Empress. Oh. There goes the gravity well, and it's the trays now as they press forwards for the retake. And Thief just locking things down on the site is so annoying. Governor able to reset. One versus two for Governor. It's going to be a crossfire against the B main position as well. The distraction. The taps are just a distraction. There's no time really for this. There is no time at all for this. Governor is going to go down with a ship at least. Sending Thief down with him. Good money. They, they have a Spectre. They've got some half armors. They're not in a great spot. We've got an aggressive play no as well from Ban. No. We talked about him feeling it. Oh no! It's a complete whiff. That's and Thief kill. is able to capitalize oh, an opening no. two kills. Massive for Pioneers. Again, they have to win this round. If they lose this, they're reset. And they have nothing left. They've spawned two. They all turned to one spawn, Dan. Oh, we're looking at a tied game here. This is 10-10. Frosty, everything to do. One on four, he can't do it. They do have the Cosmic Divide, and it comes through. Oh, no. Before oh, it popped no. up, Thief takes down. But the slows are just phenomenal. Two picks off one. Everyone else has disappeared here for the Pioneers onto the site. So they're all going to be working from site control. There's no B main. There's nothing like that. And I think that all that info is known by Knights. So they have with that extra player. Or rather, actually, not no longer. Got a chance here. Great pickup from Ban as they start to press forwards. Two players back site. Can they deal with all of this? Forcing out the pushes. They've got to take some fights here on the defense. They're doing so. And they're winning some of these openers. But getting closer and closer here, Knights. Forcing these engagements. Stuck around the side. There's a dash. It's a critical dash. And they win Ooh. it. Oh, that was so close. Nice. Picking it up with the deep. Oh, my God. No oh my shot, God. Dan. Huge find from Ban to get something going here. And quickly, we see a rotation from Pioneers through to Catwalk. There's that res, one of the many alts here available. Hunter Ban just has to try to connect it. Lear will push him off the angles. Really important list as they try to gain space, but still stuck here towards market. The gravity is going to stop. Oh, but it doesn't stop bad. It doesn't stop bad. JC Stanny will, but still, they delayed them so heavily. Oh, the angle. It's terrible for Governor. And now that's going to leave Frosty left. in the one versus two. There's a lockdown available. I don't know if Frosty Fight should even planted. use it here. Apart from the spot, Frosty's approach. Cosmic Divide comes through. Something's given here to Frosty. Are they going to try to double push him? Oh, they do. Oh. They go for it. It's brave. It's bold. A lockdown comes in. And there's a nebula, nebula as well to block vision. It, ready with the delay of his own. There comes the wall to counterplay this one. But Governor gets two headshots. That's absolutely massive. How has Governor found those? And here comes that res. You're talking about it. That's going to make things into a 4 versus 4. But we still have a lockdown for Frosty. They don't want to overcommit players here on this retake just yet. Before the lockdown can be in play. And there's two players in B main. They're quite spread out here, Pioneers. Oh. Knights need absolutely everything to go right. That lockdown has to come and play here. Frosty cannot die. There it goes. There goes the lockdown. There goes the challenge for it. Sif gets two. It's up to Sif. Another one from Sif. A third kill from Sif, but it has to be the fourth as well. The one versus one here. As the spike ticks away. There goes the hold, gets it halfway. Oh, oh he knows he can maybe stick this one. He's oh. going to stick it all the way for the overtime. He's got an absolutely phenomenal round. For and again, the A main pressure. But Deep is going to fight for it right now. And they fight. They fight. Here they come. We did. 
All Wounded needs to do is delay. He's got teammates on the way already. There goes the... Oh, there's the wall indeed. The boost is great. Critical tries to get ahead of the Nebula. Not good for his health. And J-Mo in the one versus three. Spike planted. Very, very difficult circumstance to find yourself in. No freebies given either for J-Mo early in this retake attempt. And they're very spread out too, so that's going to make it extremely hard for J-Mo. And there we go. I'm going for it. He's going to catch him. Oh, there's a dash to... So much pressure here. Oh, oh what a creeping. play from Jay-Z Stani. Just, he's wow. in the Matrix. Feeling the game out so well. Spike will get planted, but there's a lot of vision here. You can see Ban has a really good vantage point onto the site. Zip takes down Thief, which opens up Governor as well. And they're starting to push oh. forwards. It's looking really good here for Knights. They're looking to finish this one off. And they get denied. There goes the push now into the A site. And Thief's in a good spot for the defense here. This is looking very, very difficult for Knights. And they're not left with too much here. They didn't get what they needed out of that. There's no one in the front lines. The front lines has been just melted. 30 seconds left. They're going to have to just force their way in here. It's looking really awkward. Labored, to say the least. And in they go. They deal with Thief, though. It's gone down a lot, but they're getting some of the kills that they need. Governor picks up another headshot, but the one versus two, and time is against him. Time is the greatest enemy here for Governor. Oh, he's trying to go for the spread. There goes that wall. Oh, man, he tried to, but he's not going to be able to hit the mark this time. It's up to the players on the site, and they're doing a great job. Scuba and Zip locking things down here for the Pioneers. And, well, sorry, for Knights. For part. Element surprises with we did. 10 seconds. He makes it sound because there he is now. There's a preemptive fire coming through. Oh no, we did it too! That was a little bit too close for comfort. Ethan JC Stani. The wall in him in. Oh, oh my! That's nasty from Thief. Just decapitates two players immediately. A third. And there's Spike planted and they're having to go through mid, through market. We did trying to just keys and find players and he's gonna have to die through he has to help his teammates out and nice picking up the very key opening frags 20 seconds to go they've got an advantage going into the retake they're holding position they want to retake together open your still as the drone and that's massive because that's going to push thief off of this angle potentially even tag him here at lane Gary, the pressure Jeez. comes in. I don't know if they know about the, the player in main. Able to dismiss away. That's going to even up the numbers, but Thief goes down. The trades come through. Dice look good. They look... And I don't know how much can be done to stop this one. Ooh. Spray through the smoke, I guess, is going to do some damage. But the site's been conceded. Nice. Getting the plant down on that B site. Retake territory here for Pioneers. Four versus four. Frosty is going to be in big trouble if the drone comes out. Oh, but he that's swings! Great. <gasps> great work out, though. And Frosty just rushed down the stairs. A remainder of Pioneers here. And this position for Governor is just a better angle. And they're going to have to rethink things. They're just using the Astra Stars here. Oh, there goes the gravity well. And this, this use of utility is actually looking extremely important. What a great reset! And that's going to make the difference. Is it too late? It's too late. Gets a recon out. At least evades getting taken down. Oh. Frosty takes down Jamie off top of the wall. And that's a big kill to get. Frosty holding down. There's another headshot from Frosty. My no God. Way. He's taken everybody down. Looking for the ace now at this point. There's one player left. And I'm sure Frosty wants to lay claim to this one. Wow. Knights. Looking to get tournament point themselves here. And in the most devastating of fashions. There it is, he's found it, he's found the ace in overtime. Close these teams are. We're, no time to talk, Dan. All out be hit again. They're just going for it. It's descending into madness again up on the wall. Are we, are we in a time loop right now? I don't know what's going on, but the trays come through as we make their way back onto the B site. As they make their way in, it's going to be 
a pretty strong advantage here for Knights. Oh, the timing though. Still, Scuba's ready for that one. JC standing making plays. Thief now, one versus two. Oh, he's crept in. I don't think they've seen him. Thief in a forward position. Huge position. It's all about timing now for Thief. Spotted. He's going to get the first one. Thief. There's the heal. Looks for the next one. One versus ones. Puts the pressure on. Goes for the halfway. Tries to force out the next player. The jumps come through. Whoa. That's insane. They call a timeout. And we just got word that we did's mouse has died, Dan. Oh, I no. Mean, battery. Wireless mice. We are... <laughs> We are in a new time, you know. No more ball mice like you use, Dan. I mean... <laughs> you are that old, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Kidding. Much of a presence is very odd. And you can see they've recognized this. But they've fallen back, and Ziff gets the pick off Cat onto Thief. Well, yeah, and they know what's coming here, Knights. They, they know what's coming. There's two players at the back of the site. It's going to be so hard to break this. However... He's going to go down, and, 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 and the players on the side are stuck. Governor is getting tagged out by another swarm. Oh, the spray just land on the targets. And somehow, somehow Pioneers are coming out on top here. Scuba coming in around the market. Here's the reload. That's one player. Exactly. Jemo was. Has him dead to rights. One versus two. One player is quite weak. It's a Scuba. Looking for it. And we've seen so many of these 1v2s. Pioneers in a position to take the tournament. Can Scuba save Knights again? As he creeps forward. Looking. Oh, 